Mr. Lapakio said his team had started implementing the law in 2018 after receiving instructions from the Department of Finance to engage Provincial Finance Management Office as an agency to collect GST on behalf of the Internal Revenue Commission. He said the challenge is for all provincial and district administrations to implement the GST Act so that the revenue through tax can be collected effectively to beef up budget appropriation of the national government. We need to run, and run a workshop so that we can disseminate more information to the districts. Districts, there is a lot of huge business houses performing in the districts. They need to pay tax. They need to pay tax. The employees of those entities must pay wages and salaries tax. <coughs> so here IRC has got a mammoth task uh, to run workshops so that we disseminate more information so that they are fully aware of the existence of this law. Lapakio added that 11.4 million was for the last five years, 2018 to 2022. For this year, roughly 700,000 was collected from January to April. The money will be released to IRC by the end of this month. Meanwhile, the IRC anger manager, Stephen Paris, is commended the anger provincial finance manager and his team for a job well done in remitting provincial tax collection despite not having the integrated financial management system in place. They've done this all manually. If uh, people out there are not aware, anger people have done this manually. If people rely on that, uh, I'm waiting for IFMS to be fixed. We have taken uh, the lead in doing it you know, the other way around, and we're still collecting all the, the amount that we should be collecting. Thank you. Meanwhile, other provincial administrations have been challenged to do likewise. Natasha Ovoy, National MTV News.